So I'm Professor Peter Nash from beautiful downtown Brisbane, Griffith University, here at Room Now in Ula 2023 Milan, really reporting about the hottest topic at the meeting is CAR T therapy in connective tissue diseases. So this was presented initially by Georg Schett, the first seven patients at the ACR meeting, and a number of presentations at this meeting are about CAR T therapy, and not just in lupus. Now it's antisynthetase syndrome, that's uh, uh, Joe one positive myositis. There's been a letter to the editor about uh, scleroderma, and they've now treated four patients with scleroderma. But the report about the follow-up on the patients with lupus, those seven patients that have led to the interest in this particular form of therapy, uh, they've now got patients who were very severe young patients with lupus. They had at least four organs involved. Some of them had failed a median of seven therapies and one of them 15 different therapies. I didn't even know there was 15 therapies that you could use for lupus. And these patients got into remission very quickly, whether it's Doris remission or LL DAS remission. Their autoantibodies disappeared and they have stayed disease free, drug free for over a year. And one patient is out to 22 months disease free drug-free, and the patients are um, similarly the ones with myositis in remission, having failed multiple treatments, and the way the regimen works, they withdraw all their prior therapy, particularly T-cell therapy, three weeks before they receive the CD19 CAR-T therapy. They keep prednisone, try and eliminate if they can, or uh, adrenal cover if they can't, and then they get the infusion of autologous CAR-T cells that bear the CD19 receptor. Now, people always want to know, do you need the conditioning that these patients get in the lymphoma world with fludarabine and cyclophosphamide? And the answer is yes, because you need to deplete the niches so the CAR-T cells can multiply and expand into these niches and have deep tissue elimination of B cells. The fascinating thing is one of the patients did just as well with half the conditioning regimen that the others received. So one of the unknown questions is just how much conditioning these people need. But fortunately, they don't seem to get too much of an issue with the conditioning. It's not that toxic. Then they get this uh, infusion of their autologous cells. One of the reports at this meeting is talking about allogenic CAR T cells being produced. But in these particular studies, they're all autologous and these patients did very well. The B cells came back and they came back as naive B cells uh, without memory B cells. They were able to preserve their antibody production in other areas because plasma cells are not eliminated with this therapy. And they apparently the safety was quite excellent. They had very uncommon um, cytokine release syndrome, only one patient in grade one needed some tocilizumab, and they have not seen neurotoxicity, the so-called ICANs, uh, in this SLE group. They had one case of dizziness, they gave dexamethasone and called it a possible ICANs in the uh, synthetase study. So overall, fascinating results, reproduced in other areas, an expensive therapy, but uh, we're trying to get a study started up in Australia. They can do it now in Australia, make the CAR T cells for $75,000. And what if this is a cure of lupus? What if it's a cure of these pathogenic antibody driven diseases? So it's very much a watch this space, but fascinating results and fascinating research. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you enjoy the meeting and we'll talk again.